In this video I'm going to show you how you can convert numbers from rectangular form to polar form using your sharp EL531WH calculator. So we'll just very quickly review the theory. So if you've got a number in rectangular form, this means you're specifying the point P by an X and a Y coordinate. If this was a complex number, which is the typical application of this function, you would have this as the real axis and this would be the imaginary axis. And this complex number here would be 3 plus 2i. And in polar form, what you're doing is you're specifying the point by point P by a distance r, so a line of length r, and you're rotating that line through an angle of theta, and that is specifying the point P. And obviously these P's are in the same position. So let's have a look at an example. And we'll do this on the calculator so you can see how this works. So we're taking 3 plus 2i and converting it to polar form. And this standard form is x plus i, y. This is how we write complex numbers in rectangular form. So if you compare this and this, it's clear to see that the 3 is your x value and 2 is your y value. So the first step is to enter this data onto the calculator. So what we're doing here is we're entering x comma y, so we're doing 3, then second function, and then we want to get this comma function, and that's the orange function on top of STO, so pressing second function and then STO, that gets us a comma here, and then we're wanting 2, so just put 2 in like that. Now we can just get the answer, so we're pressing second function and then 8, that's got an arrow r theta and that gives us our value of r which when you round is 3.61 which is exactly what we expected from here. You see that? So we want to get the, our value of theta as well so to do this you need to press second function and then there's a button on top of EXP that lets you cycle to the next um, calculated value. So that gives us theta, which is 33.7 degrees. Maybe you ought to convert this to radians. The way you do this, you press second function, then pi puts you in radians. Though you probably want to get your calculator back to degrees. So if you press this DRG button, you can get the calculator back to degrees as normal if that's your standard mode for your calculator. Now let's uh, look at how to do it the opposite way. Maybe you've got a number in polar form and you want to get it in rectangular form. You do it in exactly the same way. So we, but instead of entering x and y, we put in r and theta. So we'll just do the same example. We've got 3.61 as our, our r value. Second function, STO for the comma. And then we're putting in theta, which is 33.7 degrees and we press second function and then we press the number 9 that's got the arrow xy that gets us our x value and we press second function exp and that gets us the y value which were 3 and 2 respectively which is exactly what we expect so that's how you do your rectangular polar form conversions using your sharp calculator hopefully this is helpful and thank you 